The myth of cattle and grain is an ancient Sumerian creation myth written on clay tablets in the mid to late 3rd millennium BC. The story opens with a location, the hill of heaven and earth, the mound, which is discussed by Chaira as not a poetical name for earth, but the dwelling place of the gods, situated at the point where the heavens rest upon the earth. It is there that mankind had their first habitat, and there the Babylonian Garden of Eden is to be placed. The Sumerian word Eden means step or plain, so modern scholarship has abandoned the use of the phrase Babylonian Garden of Eden, as it has become clear that the Garden of Eden is a later concept. Jeremy Black has suggested that this area was restricted for the gods, noting that field plans from the third dynasty of Ur use the term Hersag, meaning hill, to describe the hilly parts of fields that are hard to cultivate due to the presence of the prehistorical Tel Mounds, ruined habitations. Kramer discusses the story of the god An creating the cattle goddess Laha and the grain goddess Ashnan to feed and clothe the Anunnaki who in turn created man. Laha was male in the previous documentary, the brother of Ashnan, but now Laha is female. Lahar and Ashnan are created in the Duku, or pure place. And the story further describes how the Anunnaki create a sheepfold with plants and herbs for Lahar, and a house, plough and yoke for Ashnan, describing the introduction of animal husbandry and agriculture. The story continues with a quarrel between the two goddesses over their gifts, which eventually resolves with Enki and Enlil intervening to declare Ashnan the victor. The house may be the house of knowledge, the Abzu, and the plough and yoke refers to the bull or the four horsemen. Samuel Noah Kramer has noted the parallels and variations in the story and the later one of Cain and Abel in the Bible book of Genesis. 
Awa Wazilawaska mentions that this text is not very clear, allowing for the interpretation that humankind was already present before Laha and Ashnan were created, and it was them, humanity, not the Anunnaki, who were not able to provide for themselves and for the deities until they were given divine breath. But that would only make sense if they were physical gods. In the beginning, they were spirits, and spirits cannot provide for themselves. However, it seems that Kramer's translation is more appropriate concerning the Sumerian realm, in which each and every creation must have had its clearly described purpose. Karen Rhea Nemet Nejat noted that the measuring rods in the tail has been linked to the history of writing, which developed in order to keep count of animals and produce, but also to herd the masses via religious works and propaganda. Her sag, the hill, the Sumerian word nin, from the Akkadian pronunciation of the sign Eresh, which could possibly later become Ares, and was used to denote a queen or a priestess, and is often translated as lady. Other translations include queen, mistress, proprietess, and lord. Sag means hill, but refers to the mound, hence to the mountain for which the mounds represent. Ninher Sag is the wife of Enki, but it is the wife of Zu who has paps of white crystal, and this does refer to the mounds, and the mounds belong to Zu. One mile from my home, there is a mound with a trig pillar, which we call locally Tit Hill simply because it is. But originally, before the earth covered the mounds, the ancient mounds in Britain stood out in gleaming white. So the myth of Zu is claiming that it is married to the old god concept. The paps of white crystal are the breasts of Danu, Tuatha, Tiawath. But I have to say that the amount of information regarding the ancient mounds is repeatedly telling us to keep away. Could it be that Zhu is used to demonize these sites, and that these sites were copied as the people would never disturb them? There are three kinds of mound, the usual burial mounds, the entrances to the inner earth, but also ancient vaults. Before I finish, the Sumerian word, Ku, referring to Kuzu, Ashnan and Lahar are created in Duku, which can also mean creature coop, and somebody was made to dwell in a cage. Of course that would be Zhu and his wife and children. 
Dooku can also mean creature coupe. Coupe refers to a vehicle, a chariot. The word coupe, while not a true homophone because the P is silent, refers to a seizure of power, a strike or move. Or Zu seizing the tablets of destiny, Ku of Zu. And finally, Coop. Well, a coop is where chickens live, but also the cockerel, the bird cage. Bird is the word. <laughs>